What's up guys and welcome back to Supercars of Westchester. Today we are going to be discussing a few designs from two different artists that I thought would be cool to incorporate into the new C8 Z06 or future variant models of the C8 platform. I will leave the links to their Instagram pages down below if you would like to check out some of their other cool designs as well. The first one up here is the render by Rain Prisk and their take on bringing back the split glass rear window design from the C2 Corvette. I think this actually looks really cool the way it has been integrated into the C8 body and it makes it look a little bit more futuristic in my opinion. The shape of the rear window has been altered to fit this design as well as the curvature of the split going through the window all the way to the rear deck lid of the car. The Corvette lettering has been moved slightly to the top of the rear trunk as opposed to the rear bumper and the styling of the rear bumper in between the taillights have also been altered slightly giving it a bit more aggressiveness to the design. Another cool feature to note would be the additional side vents right behind the passenger side windows. Overall this design is really cool looking and although a split glass rear window C8 is not likely coming down the pipeline for this current lineup there could be a possibility for a future Corvette model to return to this design. Anything is possible, but would you guys want to see it? Let me know in the comments down below. The next one is this render from Highcade. This is definitely the most extreme render I've seen so far, and I really like certain elements from this. The first being the quad exhaust setup in the back. I really like the vertical design how the exhaust is stacked on top of each other instead of the horizontal design in the C7 Z06. This gives it a much more meaner look to it and the rear bumper has been changed as well with the larger rear air vents. This design seems to be more sharp and angular compared to the current C8 Stingray and I like the way it is integrated into the rear diffuser as well. Moving up a little higher you will notice the tail lights have been upgraded as well. The overall design is the same but the LEDs have been lengthened to each end of the car connecting both sides together and highlighting the Corvette lettering in the middle. This was a fantastic idea and maybe something to look forward to on a future variant. And now the part that nobody can ignore. It's that gigantic rear wing. Now although this might be a bit too much for me, I do like how it seems to have the active arrow incorporated into the design much like Lamborghini's ALA system on the rear spoiler of the Aventador SVJ. This would be quite interesting to see driving past you on the road. The front of the car has also been modified, incorporating that same wide body design on the fenders going into the hood and front bumper. The bumper has a much more aggressive look to it, with some added LEDs to highlight its accents. You can see that a little better in this photo here, which also gives you a better look at the front hood design. Two other things you can see here as well are the twin roof scoops covering the rear glass window as well as the Stingray logo design that is connecting them to the rear spoiler. This is a really great way to tie it all together and something you may not even notice at first glance. So what do you guys think? Do some of these design elements stand a chance to make it to the Z06, ZR1 or even Zora models of the C8? Let me know which parts you would like to see make it to a future C8 variant. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.